Hello guys, it's Pepfumpab back at it again, and today we are here with another new archetype, actually not new, but one of the archetypes that has been buffed um, thanks to the support that we got in the newest box. Of course, I mean Eternal Stream, and as you may have seen from the thumbnail, we're all talking about Fire Fist. So, before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So, let me start saying that I'm here with Jesse, but of course the skill I, mm, that is ideal for this deck is not the tie that binds, it is actually only a good replacement. It is, the skill that you should use is Crystal Power that unfortunately I didn't unlock yet. So, if you have Crystal Power, definitely use Crystal Power, it's uh, slightly better. Uh, of course, if you don't have it, it's not that much of a deal, uh, the tie that binds will do the job anyway. So, Fire Fist, and as you can see, my version, the version that I am um, bringing to you, it's all level 4. So, uh, I actually wanted to focus on the XCs with level 4, and I play also a couple of Fire Fist Elon for two reasons. Basically because I want to have access to a um, in, an XCs rank 6, and also because, uh, you know, having a couple of level 6 is the easiest way to have, uh, you know, the, mm, the enough requirement for the ritual summon. I mean, you can just tribute one Eland to summon the other one, uh, of course, with your Demay. So, and I really, uh, you know, the big purpose of my list is, uh, mm, of course, to bring out Eland as soon as possible is actually the card that makes the deck worthy, in my opinion, uh, because we have this n n effect negation once per turn by sending a Fire Fist monster or a Fire Formation card face up from our field to the grave, so I think it's insanely good, and I think it's insanely good the, um, you know, the synergy that we got with this cast and the Damay, because when Damay is sent to the, if Damay is sent to the grave, you get to summon a Fire Fist monster from actually um, a, a Fire Fist monster from your graveyard to your field. So uh, I really like this synergy and um, and you will actually find out that the most important monster that we got among the Xyz it's not the recently added uh, Tiger King but the Cardinal. Actually I don't know if Cardinal was in this box. Yes it was in internal stream. So Cardinal I think it's definitely better because you know, unless you're facing a Desperado or deck or, I don't know, Dark Lord that you will see only for about 5 days, then the Boundless will hit and you will not see uh, any Dark Lord at all. Um, uh, unless you're facing something like that, you do not need the effect of Tiger King to, you know, uh, negate all the other um, uh, monsters on the field. So, that's really no purpose. I mean, Elon does the job really better, I say. Uh, while instead Cardinal is a good card removal, either from the field and from the grave. Um, I mean, it's not the best effect ever because it still targets, as you can see right here, but what's good and, make it, and makes it really good, uh, in theory, is that it does not destroy, it does not banish, but it just shuffle into the deck, that is the best option among the three. The three options, of course, are banishing, destroying, or... Uh, actually, I think there are four. We also have sending to grave and then shuffling to deck. I think my actually, uh, if I had to make a list, I will probably put shuffle to, into the deck as the first option. Then we have send to the grave, then banish and then destroying. So shuffling into the deck makes sure that you have um, the most um, the most choices, uh, the most chances of not triggering any effect at all. So I, that's why I think this uh, this is good, and of course it's a two, so it's like custom in Noble Knight, so you get to choose two cards, and you can also shuffle cards in the grave back to deck. So it's really really good in my opinion. Uh, 
so let's see actually how it works. So as you can see right here, I only have a couple of Halophants, uh, but only because I own two. So if you have a third Halophant, then definitely play the third because it's uh, the best card right here. And then we have a bunch of level fours where the most important right here, in my opinion, is Buffalo. Why? Because Buffalo can be summoned from your grave um, uh, by sending two Fire Face or Fire Formation monster, not only from face up on your field, but also from your hand. So this is a really cool and easy special summon, especially if you're, if you're looking for having the um, the good, the, the right amount of tribute for your Helen summon, or if you want to go into your XC summon, you need another monster. And also, uh, Buffalo combines really well with your Demay, because if you send the, um, the Demay from your uh, from the field to the grave to trigger the effect of, of, of your Buffalo, you don't only get to summon your Buffalo for its own effect, but you get to summon another effect for Demay, so you have two monsters out of nowhere, out of nothing, and it's really, really, really good. Then we have only one Gorilla, just to just in case we are facing a deck with a lot of spell and trap cards um, and uh, then we have one rhino that is the one that let us um, go over monsters that has that uh, that have insanely huge attack because rhino can just discard another um, uh, fire fist monster from your hands to get one of your fire fist monster uh, get that boost that uh, that uh, the attack of the, uh, the original attack of the monster that was sent to the grave so really good boost right there then we have Dragon, um, that is, you know, uh, I actually like it only because it's high attack and his um, first turn, his first effect, I mean if you activate a fire formation um, uh, when it's face up on the field you get to set a trap from your deck, so it's a good way to look for directly to your Sinto, only one Sinto because it's extremely easy to search and it's your spell trap negation, pretty cool, and you can also recycle it thanks to Helland or thanks to your Elephant, that as a second effect can um, uh, actually shuffle into the deck one of your fire formation cards and let you add a level 5 or higher fire face monster that of course your target will be an Helland. Uh, then of course we have the tanky that is the searcher, domain, the ritual, the ritual one and then tensu uh, as the additional normal summon, you're not gonna use that thing uh, a lot actually. And then among the XCs of course we have a couple of dual chores are more than enough, maybe just one is enough. Um, a couple of Cardinal, definitely worthy, uh, generic stuff like Malevolent Scene and then generic stuff level 6, Bouncer and Ptolemy. So guys, the deck is really consistent, um, not that insanely good in my opinion, but I, I think he has a chance, especially after the ban list um, gets in play, I think he has a, a high chance to uh, maybe bring you to Kog, honestly. So don't miss the replays because you will see the full combo in action. Let's jump right into them. Here we go, my boys. The first replay was against Yami Yugi, and this is actually a uh, what it was? Uh, Fire King. Yes, Fire Fist versus Fire King. Kind of nice. So as you can see, we've got the perfect opening. So we got a monster, and we got Tenki. So this means another monster. And we uh, um, added, of course, Elephant. Or maybe we added the other one. Yes, we added the other one, actually. Um, as I told you guys in the explanation, in the decklist breakdown, I like to use bu Buffalo. I want a Buffalo to be in my graveyard just in case I need that extra summon. So what I did was to summon Elephant after Tanky so I have, um, so I can use its effect to send the Tanky to the grave and special summon the other monster so that I, so that I can go to my XC summon and then I can use the second effect of uh, elephant to recycle the, mm, the the five formation spell card and then I can use I can add a level five or are your monster of course the Elant. There you go. Then why I went into Tiger King because ideally you wanna both have for your first turn the Elant negation ready and we are ready because we have already the domain card, the domain ritual card, actually it's continuous but it counts as a ritual card to special summon your Helens and you wanna have the uh, counter trap card to negate the spell trap card effect. So there you go, I use the effect of my uh, Tiger King to set the Sinto and then domain is ready, 
to summon the Eland. There you go, we are ready. So let's see what, he, what he's got right here. He starts with the perfect card, of course, Fire King Eyeline. I decided not to stop it because uh, there was a chance that even if I stop the card on activation, if he will have had another one, he will still be able to activate the effect. So I decided not to. I decided to, to save my Sinto for another card like Circle of the Fire Kings. And you will see in the replay in, at the end of it that it was the best choice actually. Just a set card, he didn't even have, have the, uh, the uh, always called, uh, oh yes, he just had it him. Well, he didn't even have the Garonix already in his hand, so he couldn't destroy the Garonix with the effect of Fire King Island, so it was safe right here. But anyway, guys, keep in mind that I can negate the Garonix effect with Helland. So, um, I use, I draw a Gorilla, not use, actually not useful right now, because I can negate simply the Trap card, so there's no way to summon him and use its effect to target the, the Trap card. So I decide to use the effect of Helland to um, add the Tanky. He uses the Canadia, but actually there was no point in doing that, so um, I could set a Tanky and activate it, of course. So I flipped up, of course, my, my Tiger King Tanky to add a Dragon, and I winged right in after my the Tidal Binds. Keep in mind right now, guys, that I say that Crystal Power is better because now with the Tidal Binds, I get 300 attack for each one of them. Instead of now with Crystal Power, you get 200 for each continuous spell card. So this will have been 400 per each. Keep in mind that. So first attack with my Dragon. He has a Balinboxer Veil that I cannot negate with Helen. So that's unfortunate. Um, I keep swinging in and yet another belly boxer veil so uh, he had the best counter so he still has all his life points and also he gets to destiny draw he summoned uh, he picked the arvada um and uh, then uses the effect of Fire King Island to destroy the Garonix and had another Arvada. Now, in now keep an eye on this turn. So it's my standby phase. Garonix comes in play. I decided to negate it with Helland, but it could change the effect of Arvada to negate my Helland negation. So Garonix comes in play and pops everything out. So Arvada's effect also comes in play and he gets to summon the Barong. There you go, here comes the spice. So, Buffalo from the Grave can let you send a couple of spell cards, uh, continuous spell cards from, um, from face up on the field or from your hand to the Grave to special summon him. There you go, the one that are face up. Then, Domei, when it's sent to the Grave, actually, if it's sent to the Grave, so this means that it does not miss the timing, if even if it is sent as a cast. There you go, Domain to the Grave, let me special summon another Fire Fist monster. I choose the, <clears throat> the Elephant right here. Then Elephant's effect to make the, the, the card come back to the Grave to recycle some spell cards, but I didn't get the, uh, the add to my hand because I had no Hellands left in my deck. So Cardinal is here and is the perfect answer to Garonix. Cardinal's effect, recycling the couple of Hellands and make those monsters come to the deck. The best choice right here. Um, then Domei. Why did I activate Domei if I if I had no Helland? Because to activate, to be able to activate Sinto, you have to have both a face up um, a face up a fire formation spell card and a, fi a face up fire face monster. Keep in mind that, my boys. So now I have my negation ready. There you go. Onslaught of the Fire Kings, the perfect answer is Sinto, so I made the right choice saving the Sinto previously. There you go, it goes on with Arvada, it didn't swing in, actually a, a, a wrong choice, uh, because now with the Titan Binds I can just go over, but it's not what I'm going to do, because Buffalo's effect can be used every turn there you go buffalo and i could send my cardinal because i just don't need him anymore now he now that he does not have any his material is useless so i can just go into buffalo use the effect of the may once again to bring out the dragon summoning another buffalo right here exceed someone into malevolent scene taking care of that arvada not triggering its effect there you go swinging in for lethal i even of course i forgot my detided binds because i was running out of uh, time for the turn but that's how you do it guys that's how buffalo changed the game there you go here we go my boys interrupting a four win streak and a rank up. 
So I was kinda sorry for him, but we gotta do what we gotta do right here. So he started with Bujin, it's actually an interesting deck that I would play if I had the cards, but I actually do not have it. I do not have all of them, actually I missed the best ones. So the perfect opening with Bujin Yamato, sending out the Bujin Fox to prevent the OTK, but he will must play right here as you can see in a moment. So Tanky to begin with, adding the Elephant, perfect pick. There you go, Elephant, sending the tank to the grave to summon the buffalo out. It's buffalo actually, yes. Mm, then second effect of Elephant. And now, actually, now he should have changed the effect of Bujinji Fox because um, he didn't have to let me special summon the Helen on the field because Helen can negate the Bujinji Fox so you should have used it before me summoning the Helen but he misplayed so I get to summon Helen then he realized he misplayed but now it's too late he used the effect of Bujinji Fox Helen's negate send you to the grave the buffalo that I can that I special summon if I want to then Tensu uh, buffalo's effect <laughs> there you go to bring him back to the field and Xe summon Cardinal is here, making the uh, Bujinju Yamato and the other one also come back to the deck. No defense allowed. There you go. Swing it in for a lethal. I have more than a lethal, of course. And that's how you RTK with Fire Fist, my boys. Third one right here against uh, May Valentine. So I'm expecting Harpies, of course. Uh, of course, perfect opening with Tenki, adding the Elephant. Uh, elephant is still good guys of course play tree if you have the third copy so summoning the buffalo out as a second summon adding the second hell and now guys right here we miss the domain and the only thing to add domain is tiger king tiger king the effect on someone will bring out a domain right here as you can see so domain's effect helen is here and we are chilling then helen's effect to discard a monster and set the cinto so we have both in effect monster negation and a spell card now right, guys keep in mind he is cyclone and the right choice is to chain the cinto because you do not want your cinto to be banished it's better to have it in the grave so that you can cycle it with your Helland or with your Halophant. Keep in mind that always use your Sinto against the Cyclone. Then just a set monster gets he bricked or maybe he was afraid of my Helland. I picked a tanky, maybe one of the best pick ever again. Uh, so my dragon is here swinging in he has nothing and even if he had the Karibo right there I could just negate keep in mind guys that thing can negate Helland can negate Karibos and can negate Kydroid. That's how you do it. Here we go, interrupting another full win streak. This is uh, actually a deck that we won't see anymore after the ban list because Titan Shadown can will be used only for with the Dinosaur Monster. This is a heavy lie. Uh, it's climbing through Cog before the ban list applies. Uh, so heavy lie, awakening, heavy lie, Selin and Basilius uh, coming out. So. Um, just a set card, I hope it's not the heavy light defeat, let's see what we got. Tanky to begin with, only monsters in my hand, is that good? Let's see. So, uh, Elephant's effect to send the tanky to the grave and summon the buffalo, then adding the Helen to my hand, and I'm chilling right now because my Tiger King will bring out the domain I need, and then domain can be used to summon the Helen, I have a bunch of monsters, so... Um, First I decided to negate the monster just in case with the effect of my Tiger King, then Helen comes in play, then Helen's effect to set the Sinto and we have all we need. Then tie that binds to swing in um, and uh, he thinks he has won right now because uh, now you can just go into Nightmare Shark but he forgot that I have my negations effect as you will see in a moment. First of all, Pariodolia negated by my Sinto, I'm chilling. And then Xyz Shogun into Nightmare Shark using the effect, but I said no thank you. Helen says no thank you, and I also get to use the effect of Tomei to just to bring out another monster from the grave. And it's cooked. That's how you do it. Helen for the control. Last but not least against 
uh, Akiza. Let's see what we got. It's his draw phase. It's a Thunder Dragon deck. So we've got the Luf Lupine, perfect opening, discarding both, banishing both a um, Thunder Dragon Roar and a Thunder Dragon Dark. There you go. He has the perfect pick. So he's going also with the level dupe that he couldn't be you he won't be able to use it anymore he won't be able to use it anymore after the ban list but it's fine i mean if they if they still can why not so there you go i i personally do not like to play with card with cards and skills that i know will be you know um will not be useful after the ban list but i guess everyone just does what he wants there you go i got the tanky with the elephants now i need him to negate the elephant's effect there you go he actually did it and um, because i have the tensor for the other summon so i'm chilling elephant's effect to add the other helen so i have enough for enough tribute for my helen summon tensor to summon the other gorilla there you go cardinal is coming perfect turn two he already wasted his negation so helen is coming tributing the other one and then cardinal to get rid of both of them and now as you can see shuffling to deck is the perfect choice for our dragon roar otherwise he would have be able to summon another monster from the deck there you go recycling also my elephant the thigh that binds can just keep and swing in for the lethal and keep in mind guys sphere kuribo cannot do anything against helen helen negates so guys that was all i hope you enjoyed all the explanation feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one